The race to help an orphan baby orca is growing more dire as rescuers come up with an elaborate plan to remove it from a B.C. lagoon. The orca has been swimming around the waters near Zabalis on the northwest coast of Vancouver Island. CTV's Andrew Johnson is in the remote community tonight. Last minute preparations are going ahead next to a remote Vancouver Island lagoon for a delicate rescue to save the life of an orphaned killer whale calf. This is probably, you know, the most, actually the d most dangerous part of the whole process is actually capturing the whale and putting it back into, in, back into its own environment. To pull it off, the Ahadasat First Nation is working with experts from Fisheries and Oceans Canada, as well as the Vancouver Aquarium. They're going to use netting to capture the whale, potentially tranquilize the animal, move her by truck to a pen in open water, then hopefully reunite her with her family. We're getting closer, but we're not there yet to actually uh, um, helping the whale. The whale the First Nation calls Brave Little Hunter swam into the shallow lagoon with her pregnant mother two and a half weeks ago. The mother became stranded on a rocky beach and died, her calf now trapped by the tides. To give you an idea of how difficult it would be for the young whale to swim out of this lagoon, this is low tide. It would be impossible for the whale to get from over here, behind me, over there, under the bridge, and back into open water. Experts believe when the two whales swam into the lagoon, mom was teaching her baby how to hunt seals. Now that two-year-old is alone and stuck in a small area without a proper food source. Time is not on her side. That's why the tricky rescue attempt, which carries its own risk, is being so intricately planned. It's expected to go ahead any day. Andrew Johnson, CTV News, Zabalis, B.C.